Suppose we wish to plot a normal density curve, or a bell-shaped curve, on the calculator and determine values. The calculator can do this, and we will use the normal PDF command to do this. The structure of the command is as follows. You find the normal PDF command under second and vers. Then you type in the value, the mean, and the standard deviation, all separated by commas. Let's consider the following example. Suppose we wish to determine the y-coordinate for an x-coordinate of x equals 7 on a normal density whose mean is 5 and whose standard deviation is 2.1. So we go under second and vers and we select the very first option under this menu, the normal PDF command. We hit enter and then we type in the value, then the mean, and then the standard deviation and we see that the y-coordinate is approximately 0.12. Suppose you wish to see a graph of this normal density as well. And you may do this by starting off by selecting y equals. Again, going under second and vers and selecting this first option. We type in x and then the mean and then the standard deviation. Now we need to size up our window since the normal PDF command will not do it automatically. Using the empirical rule, we may determine the x-min and x-max values. And using the normal PDF command evaluating at x equal 5, we may determine the y-max value as well. The y-min can be any number, 0 or less. And the scaling factors are usually at the user's discretion. So we'll go ahead and type window. We'll say 5, the mean minus three times the standard deviation, 2.1. Then we'll say the mean, 5, plus three times the standard deviation. Then we'll type in the x scaling to be 2.1, the standard deviation itself. The y min, I'll choose to be negative 0.2. Now the y max, I'm again going to use the normal PDF command, evaluate this at 5 with a mean of 5 and a standard deviation of 2.1. And then I'll type in the y scaling as 1 tenth. And here we can see the graph of this particular normal density. And you may use the value command to determine values within the window on the curve itself. And this is how you can use the normal PDF command on your calculator.